I can't believe it's been three years since Kate and I have been besties! Happy friendiversary, Kate! Aw, you too, Lily! So, in honor of us being besties for three whole years, I got you a little prezzy! Oh wow! That was so sweet of you! Before you open it up, do you mind if I make a quick trip to the restroom? Oh no, I totally forgot to get Lily a gift! Ugh, that won't work. But this sure can! All I need is this hair elastic, and I'm good to go! If you need a last-minute gift, try out this hack. Fold the towel a third of the way inward, like so. Then, from the bottom, roll the towel up tightly. Stop at about halfway. Do the same thing at the top of the towel until the two rolls meet. Next, fold the rolls at the middle while twisting one of the ends around. Then, fold out the material around the bulge it's sitting on top of. It should look something like this. Once you put your hair tie around the middle of the towel, take two smaller ones and pinch off two pieces at the top. Now take a ribbon and wrap it around the first hair tie you put on. Is this starting to look familiar to you all? You guessed it! It's an adorable teddy bear towel! Aw, isn't he cute? You'd never guess it started out as a hand towel, right? Oh good, you're back! Aw, is that for me? You're so sweet! I love him so much. Almost as much as I love being your bestie. We've all had one of those days where we feel a little… blue. And no matter how much your friend tries to make you laugh, you just can't seem to get in a good mood. And boy, is Bella trying hard to make this sad sap laugh. It's no use, Bella. I'm just too down in the dumps. Too down to smile at Mr. Mooseface? Yikes. <sighs> Justin's not budging. Oh man, there's gotta be something I can do to cheer you up. Oops, there goes my fork. Yes, the perfect opportunity to make Justin laugh! And all I need is right here in my old trusty backpack. Sometimes a little extra creativity can really come in handy. And in this case, a black marker is just the ticket. When your friend isn't looking, you have a small window to create the best joke ever. On a plate like this one, draw a little stick figure holding a balloon. Aha! Uh, Bella, what on earth are you doing? Did you know that if you pour water on a nearly dried marker, it'll lift it right off the glass surface? See? He's moving around! Wow, that's actually pretty funny. No matter what design you draw, this little trick is always sure to bring a smile to your face. Try drawing a little boat and watch it sail away. How does this work? Why don't you give it a try? See? Nothing like a little creative spirit to turn the frown upside down. What a great day for a jog! Hey, watch your step there, Vicky! Oh no, this is not going to end well. And she's down. My headphones! Shoot, I just got these. Ugh, why am I such a klutz? Hey Mia, you won't believe what I did. Look, I busted my brand new headphones! I can't afford a new pair, and I hate jogging without my jams! They're there, there, Vicky. Hey, I have an idea! I think one of my little stuffed bears can fix your problem. Take a small stuffed animal like this one and flip it over facing down. With a blade, slice the bear down the middle from the middle of its head. Ouch! Just kidding. Go ahead and take out just a pinch of stuffing from the top. Now run a glue gun down the entire open seam. Quickly, before the glue dries, stick the ear of your headphone into the slit. Now just wait for both sides to dry. These headphones just got way more adorable. See? What'd I tell ya? I knew I could fix them. Thanks! Okay, let's test these babies out. Yup, they totally work. Way to go, Mia! Wondering where you can get a pair of headphones like these? Sorry, they're one of a kind. Nothing's worse than going about your day and stepping on a random Lego. Ooh, that looked pretty bad. If only there was something useful we could do with these darn things. Aw, we feel your pain, Bella. Whoa, what's that? Are we having an earthquake? Or did Bella accidentally step on one of my Legos again? That's it! This torture ends today! Let me think. What on earth can I do with these things? Hey, that soap could work. 
something tells me things are about to get really crafty. Unscrew a bottle of clear liquid soap. Carefully place some Legos inside using tweezers. Feel free to use different shapes and configure them any way you'd like. It's starting to look pretty interesting, right? When you're done, you'll have a fun little scene right there in your soap dispenser. Once you're finished, screw the cap back on and enjoy your masterpiece. See? Bella turned a bad situation into a great looking one. There you go! Hey Kevin! Notice anything different in here? Huh? What's going on with the soap? Holy cow! That looks so awesome! How'd they all even get in there? Well, hopefully Kevin wasn't playing with these because they're gonna be covered in soap from now on. So, you wanna meet up later and grab some pizza? Oh no! My earring! I'll call you back. Aha! There it is. Hey, what's this thing? Wait a minute! I have a brilliant idea! Wish you could make good use of these little guys lying around the house? Start by cutting one in half. Put a dab of hot glue on where it's cut. Stick your earring stud to it. Once it's dry, pierce the other half of the dino with the earring. Pretty nifty, right? Oh hey, Mia! Notice anything different about me today? Check them out! I'm glad you like them because… I just so happen to have a pair for you, too! For me? Yes! Wow, these are my favorite colors! Okay, let's try these suckers on for size. I feel poor already. This definitely calls for a selfie. Do you mind? Cheese! Oh man, all this reading's making my head hurt. No amount of studying will prepare me for this test. But hopefully this coffee will help just a little bit. Almost done studying, Adam? Whoa! Look at all those cup ring stains! They're everywhere! This gives me an awesome idea. Adam's gonna thank me for this. Take a plastic solo cup like this and draw this design on it with a permanent marker. Do it all around the cup. On the bottom, draw a thick circle along with a black dot in the middle of it. Then draw some lines jutting out of the middle, like this. Take out a baking sheet and lay some wax paper down on top of it with the cup right in the middle. Place it in the oven once it's heated and ready to go. Hey, look at that thing go! Once it's completely flat, take it out of the oven. Now set it aside to cool for a bit. When it's dry, you'll have a brand new plastic coaster. Pretty nifty, right? Hey Adam! I've got a special treat for you! What is that thing? It's a coaster, so you can stop leaving rings all over your stuff. Here you go! You're so sweet, Lana. Now if only you could take this stupid test for me. Nothing says the holiday season quite like wrapping gifts for your friends. Simply pop those suckers into a box and wrap it with some colorful paper. But if you want to have a little fun with your gift giving, try fastening it with a zip tie. Or better yet, a ton of zip ties. You can even make it festive with some colorful ones like these. And don't forget to top things off with a bow or two, of course. Too bad whoever receives it won't be able to open it. All right, Lily, here's your gift! Wow! Look at this interesting wrapping job. Ugh, how tight did you tie this thing? Maybe if I try it from the other side? Nope, that isn't working either. Careful, Lily, you'll pull one of your teeth out on that thing. Okay, there's gotta be a better way to open this. Good thing I always keep a pair of scissors handy, right, Justin? A couple of snips and this thing will be open in no time. How many ties are on this thing? But Justin knows that the answer to this problem isn't all that simple. Yes, we finally made it down to the paper, folks. Finally, I get to see what's inside. Maybe a new watch? A bracelet? Drum roll, please! Yes! Chocolate! My favorite! Here, why don't you have one? After all, there are still three more for me. 